Good morning everybody, we are back with another mindfulness video and for the next couple of weeks I'm actually going to be discussing some of the toxic attributes that I have seen come up more and more over the last couple of years. So today for the first time we're going to talk about toxic positivity. Now positivity in itself is not a toxic thing. But, like with anything, anything in excess becomes toxic. So toxic positivity is when someone responds to another's suffering without empathy. It dismisses emotions deemed negative instead of affirming them and often comes from a place of discomfort. It's of, it, it is often not meant to cause harm and often comes up when we don't know what to say or how to react, and we just want to make someone feel better. However, what happens is that by shutting down a person when they are trying to share something difficult, is cre we're creating a disconnect, which makes you seem hard to connect with or even a little bit fake. By squashing and not acknowledging these negative emotions and constantly being positive, well, it, it, like anything, it takes a toll on your mental health. With research showing, by avoiding those feelings, you'll feel them more strongly and far worse later on. So basically, toxic positivity is the excessive and ineffective overgeneralization of a happy, optimistic state across all situations, resulting in the denial, minimalization, and undervalued validation of the authentic human emotional experience. By disallowing the existence of certain feelings, we fall into denial and repressed emotions. Signs of toxic positivity are hiding or masking your true feelings, trying to get on with it by dismissing or repressing emotions, Minimising other people's experiences with feel-good quotes. Trying to give someone perspective instead of validation of their emotional experience. Shaming or chastising others for expressing frustration or anything other than, with anything other than positivity. Now there are certain circles that I definitely see this trait in more than others. There are certain high control groups that definitely use toxic positivity and there are certain business models that also definitely use toxic positivity such as those network marketing companies I find they are rife with it um, so it's like as I said at the beginning it's not that positivity in itself is toxic it's not but everything in moderation and, you know, and we are we are humans, we are flawed. We will feel any everything from everything on the spectrum from pure joy and happiness all the way through to anger and everything in between. That is what makes the human experience the human experience. And no feeling is invalid. It is what you feel at that moment in time. So which with everything else, it is just so yes, we, we use positivity and we utilise positivity to help us in our daily lives, but that doesn't mean to exclude when you're feeling down or out. That just means taking the time to actually assess why you're feeling that way and, find, and figuring out what the root cause is to actually get to the bottom of why it is you're feeling anxious or frustrated or or depressed or anything in between. So that's just a little bit about toxic positivity. We will be back next week with another video. I hope everyone has a great weekend and we'll chat soon. Bye.